Ariel Hawani in New York City standing alongside Gregor Gillespie who meets Yancey Medeiros this Saturday at UFC Brooklyn and I wanted to ask him about Yancey Medeiros but he said no Yancey Medeiros questions. Can I ask why no Yancey Medeiros it's questions? That's just what I do. I don't talk about my opponents ever. I never have from my wrestling days. My dad instilled in me at a young age, take care of business, keep your mouth shut and go do your job and that's what I'm going to do. And as you climb the ranks, title fights and whatnot, you're going to stick to that. Yeah. That's, my, that's a fascinating mentality. Sure, and I'm like, uh, I'm not a, uh, I don't run my mouth. I don't talk about people. Um, it, I'm not going to call people out. When it comes time, to, you have to call someone. I'll call whoever has the belt out if that's the next step that's logical. Um, but I'm not going to talk about people. That's, it's not me, and it would look manufactured. Okay, would be, uh, yeah, it wouldn't be organic. Now, can I ask about the hair? What's happening? Uh, I've just been growing it for like two years now. How long is it? Uh, it's pretty long. Um, it'll be, so what we do... I mean, it's oh, yeah. it's pretty long, yeah. But Look anyway, at that. it goes in my eyes. Before the fight, I'll just. You're actually gonna cut it? Yeah, I do every fight. Why don't you braid it or something? Nah, I I didn't train with braids in my hair, okay. so it pulls your eyes back, oh, it pulls your skin, makes it a little tight. I just don't want to feel like uh, uncomfortable in any way when I'm in the ring. I want to feel like I did when, when we were sparring. Any particular reason why you're growing it out? I don't know. It's just. I, just keep doing what I'm doing, right? So, like, I don't know. I guess if you want to call it superstition, it's superstition. I've been growing it out. I've been winning. So, I guess I... Well, Why? It goes in my eyes, though. Ch -ch -ch -ch. The last four fights, I've had to cut it off. So, uh, I consider you one of the brightest young stars in this game. You're on a roll. You are looking good. You look better every time you fight. And I feel like they put you on this card strategically. ESPN debut. It's a big card. A lot of eyeballs. Do you feel the same way? Do you feel like this is a vote of confidence from the bosses? Sure. I think so. And I mean, being two fights before Henry and Dillashaw, I think that's a, a big thing, too. Um, it's always nice to be on the main card, but being on a main card on the first ESPN card, I think is, it's obviously it's a vote of confidence and it's flattering. Right. So what about the fishing game? What's happening? So Saturday night we fight. Sunday I get in the car back in Long Island. We drive upstate. We'll be there by dark, so we won't be fishing on Sunday. But Monday we'll go down to Cuca Lake and uh, we'll be fishing probably five days in a row. What are we looking for there? Uh, Lake Trout. Okay. Yeah. Is that your favorite place to go fishing? Uh, yeah, my family actually has a winery on Cuca Lake. Oh, wow. So, yeah, a lot of people are involved in that area of the state. Um, we kind of have connections down there. So we get to use, like, a private boat launch down there. Wow. So, yeah, and Cuca doesn't really freeze over. I think in the last, like, 100 years, maybe three times it's frozen over. So you can count on it being open water as, you know, you might go somewhere else and just praying that it's not frozen. This we know. I have people down there that live right on the lake. I can text them, say, hey, Walt, what, what's the water like? Oh, no, it's not frozen. Come on down. Dock's open. Okay, cool. Right before we started, uh, you said to me, can I show a move on you like Chael did a couple days ago? Now, I don't want you to do that because I actually feel like you'll try to hurt me, but I just wanted to know which move would you have chosen? I would have done an underhook throw by single on you. Okay. Had in the chest and tipped you over. Okay. And you would actually have dropped me on the ground? Probably. I would have set you down lightly, though. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah, have maybe, you. maybe next time. Maybe next time. Okay. I'll come on the show and we'll do it. That'd be nice because, let's be honest, I've tried, right? Yeah. You were kind of, why? You just don't like doing it? I mean, I was probably busy training, and, like, I hate interrupting my, like, regimen. I'm super, like... I like I was bothering you. No, you weren't. Okay. No, I mean, any time that I'm, like, in training mode, I'm in training mode. And if I had a busy schedule that day or that week, I just don't, I don't uh, disrupt that whatsoever. All right. So, we'll make it happen. Okay, I respect it. Best of luck to you on Saturday. Sir, I appreciate it.